Okay, this lecture is going to be on the abdomen. Um, we're going to cover it in two weeks, so we're only going to be going through about slide 60 for this week, okay? So this is chapter 7 in your sectional anatomy book. So this is a CT. This is an abdomen post-contrast. We have the liver here. Here is your spleen. This is your kidney. So when we're looking at a sagittal view of the abdomen, you can see the thoracic cavity here separated by the diaphragm. You have your abdominal cavity here. And from the sacral prominence down to your pubis symphysis, this is your pelvic region. So as you can see, the pelvic region is going to be a shorter lecture, although we do cover the reproductive system within it. Here is a diagram showing you uh, where everything is at inside of the abdomen. So if we're looking here, you have your falciform ligament, your lesser omentum right there. Here's your greater sac and your stomach aorta. Lesser sac, um, I want you to know your spleen, your kidney, your retroperitoneum, your visceral peritoneum, your inferior vena cava with your portal vein, your bile duct, and your hepatic artery there. This is your liver with your parietal peritoneum. So looking at an MRI, this is MRI axial T1. We have um, the retroperitoneum is your dotted line there, so everything behind. So your pancreas is in it, your kidneys. Here's your aorta. This line right there, that's your crust. Remember we talked about the crust last week uh, or the week before um, with the diaphragm. That's where it comes down and attaches. So spleen, kidney, aorta. This is your inferior vena cava and your peritoneum. This whole thing here is your liver. This is your gallbladder right there. So here is a CT post contrast. Here's your line there for your peritoneum and your pancreas, stomach, spleen. There's the top of your kidney there, your inferior vena cava, and here is your liver. Looking here, we have your lesser omentum up top with your stomach and you have your greater omentum. That's the main things that I want you to see here. This is your stomach and you can see they have food in their stomach. This is your spleen and they're calling this the hilum right there and this is your splenic vein. Here's your aorta and there's your inferior vena cava. So this patient clearly is having some issues. There's some um, free fluid out and around the spleen so um, you can see free air also so if air is not encapsulated within the bowel it's called free air so we have the pancreas which looks very large and inflamed and your greater momentum with your spleen this is MRI T1 we have your left lobe of your liver here's your falciform ligament and I want you to know your caudate lobe this is a CT, post contrast, this is oral and IV. Here is your left lobe with your falciform uh, ligament there. We have your caudate lobe, your stomach, your spleen, and this is your right lobe. All right, so your falciform ligament with your subphrenic space, your stomach, your spleen, kidney. Here's a, your pancreas, kind of a funny shot of it there, and your right subphrenic space there. Stomach is here, left sphrenic, sphrenic space, and here is your uh, spleen, your liver, and right subsplenic space. And that's getting too technical. Now this patient here, this is a CT post contrast. This is what we call stranding. You can see all those little lines everywhere. That is inflammation. So. If you look at a normal scan, it doesn't have all these little gray lines. So those little gray lines mean that this patient has some kind of inflammatory process going on, typically a bowel perforation. So here's the liver and here's the gallbladder. Um, we're looking at the left kidney here, right kidney. Here's your aorta, your right crest, your left crest. Um, and then all of this is bowel, but it's hard to differentiate the bowel because of all the inflammation. So stomach, spleen, colon, um, we've got your uh, gratis fascia, comes around and you can actually see it on some of the images. Left kidney, right kidney, uh, posterior uh, 
uh, perine perineal space. You have your anterior perineal space and your liver up top. So here, um, I want you to know what grata's fascia is. Hard to see it on this one. We'll find a better one. Anterior uh, perineal space, and you have your posterior perineal space back here. You can see that line right there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the gratis. And you can see the faint line right there on the other side also. That's the gratis fascia. This is a CT reformatted into the coronal plane. So if we're looking here, here's your liver, your right adrenal gland right there, little thing. Here's your left adrenal gland. Uh, here's your left kidney, your spleen, gratis fascia, and I want you to know your psoas muscle. Looking at the liver a little bit closer, we have, I want you to know your coronary ligament with your fossiform ligament coming down. Here's your ligament and teres. Left lobe, here is your costal surface and your right lobe and right triangular ligament right there. This is your diaphragm right on top. So here's a diagram of the whole abdomen and pelvis. You have your esophagus that goes down into your stomach. Your spleen is tucked back in there. You've got your um, left lobe and your right lobe of your liver with your uh, fossiform ligament coming down the middle. So here's your stomach, and you can see the outline of your pancreas right behind. So here's your transverse colon with your descending colon, your sigmoid coming down. There's your urinary bladder. There's your appendix. This is your ascending colon. Uh, you have your ilium coming in. This is your small bowel, so this is your jejunum up top and your ilium down lower. Your ascending colon coming up. Gallbladder is going to be hanging down right in this area. All right. Let's skip that one. So left lobe, fossiform ligament. Here's your caudate lobe right there, and this is your right lobe of your liver. So same, same idea there, and a little bit different of a slice compared to the others. Here's your caudate lobe, your quadrate lobe, and your right lobe. So your quadrate lobe here, here's your gallbladder, and your right lobe. So this is um, arterial phase of contrast for CT, so the kidneys are nice and bright along with the aorta. Um, I wanted to show you this one in the sense that here's your aorta, inferior vena cava, and your portal vein. So aorta, inferior vena cava, and gallbladder, and you have your portal vein that's going to be right in here. This is a angio, it's a CT. So here's your left kidney, your right kidney, inferior vena cava, here's your aorta, and uh, your main portal vein right by your IVC. Coming down, uh, well actually it'd be coming up, right? Because it's the venous system. So it would be coming up, this is your inferior vena cava. So we have your left hepatic vein, you have your middle hepatic vein, and your right hepatic vein. Uh, and we'll look at the other ones a little bit further down. So your stomach, spleen, left kidney, pancreas is right here. This is your aorta, inferior vena cava, and your portal vein and your liver comes across here. So your aorta, inferior vena cava, and your portal vein. This is your gallbladder right there. This is your spleen, oh, your spleen, your pancreas, sorry. This is your spleen. So portal veins right there, so aorta, IVC, portal vein. This is the head of your pancreas. All right, so here's your left ventricle, and here's the left lobe of your liver. Coming down, this is your portal vein right there, and this is your right lobe of your liver, this is your right hepatic vein, and your IVC. So splenic artery has the curl to it. So this is your um, celiac, so this is your aorta with your celiac coming off, and then your um, common hepatic artery. And we'll skip that one. So if we're looking here, you can see your portal vein right there with your right hepatic vein going into your inferior um, vena cava. So your hepatic vein and your inferior vena cava, this is the um, system within your liver 
Uh, it's pretty complex. You guys, we've talked about the sphincter of Odie coming up into your common bile duct, into your cystic duct, going into your gallbladder. And then you have your common hepatic duct that goes into your left and your right hepatic duct. So looking at it here, we have the ampulla of Vader. Um, coming across is your pancreatic duct. And then coming up is your common bile duct. And it goes into your cystic duct to the neck of your gallbladder to the body of your gallbladder to the fundus of your gallbladder. If we were to stay to the right at the bifurcation here, it's your common hepatic duct that goes into your left and your right. So here's a better picture. Ampulla vader is your sphincter of OD going um, off to your pancreatic duct or you can go up into your common bile duct into your cystic duct. It has these little spiral valves of hyster. Then you have your neck of your gallbladder. That's where all the gallstones get stuck and in Hartman's pouch also. So here's the body and here's the fundus. The fundus is the bottom. So if you were to go up the bifurcation, you have your common hepatic duct with your right hepatic duct and your left hepatic duct. So this is an MRA, um, MRCP actually that we run. So this is your duodenum coming down. You can see your pancreatic duct coming across, coming up your common bile duct, and then you can see your cystic duct right there with your gallbladder is there. And you can't really tell which is the left and right of your hepatics. So same picture. All right, look in here. We have the um, common bile duct, superior mesenteric. Um, vein and artery with your aorta, your inferior vena cava, and this is your pancreatic head right there. This is a coronal uh, T2, uh, MRI T2, so you can see your common hepatic duct, your cystic duct coming off here. Here's your common bile duct. This is your stomach. We're going to pick up a lot of fluid from the stomach. So superior mesenteric artery, superior mesenteric vein. Here's your aorta with your inferior vena cava your pancreatic head, your duodenum there. Okay, so looking here, it's your pancre pancreatic head, superior mesenteric vein, mesenteric artery. Here's your aorta with your inferior vena cava. This is your spleen over here, left kidney, right kidney. So inferior vena cava with your duodenum and your liver is here. Stomach is coming across. Here's your pancreas. This is a great shot. This is an MRI T1. So pancreas, here's your spleen, left kidney, aorta. Here's your left crust and your right crust. Here's your inferior vena cava. This is the body. And looking here, your superior mesenteric artery. You know that because you can see the bright of the aorta. You don't see your inferior vena cava yet. You only see the brightness in your aorta. So you know that this is an angio, so you're still in the arterial system, so that's your superior mesenteric artery. This is your um, pancreas coming across, left kidney, right kidney. Okay, this is a, a great picture of the pancreatic duct. They got it. They had to reformat it so that they could get the whole thing or angle it just right to get the whole thing. So your ampulla evader is there, and it's coming up. Um, we don't see the common bile duct because the way that the angle is on this. Stomach with food in it. I love that. So here's the spleen, the hilum. This is your vein, and the artery is the one that curls. And left kidney is right there. This is aorta and inferior vena cava. This whole thing right there is your liver. So here's the liver, this big thing. So this is an angio. You see your aorta here, nothing in the inferior vena cava. Stomach. Here's your spleen, and here's your left kidney. So looking at the adrenal glands, this is what they look like. The cortex on the outside, medulla on the inside. They sit up top of the kidneys, typically. So um, you can see the crust is coming down, and you have your left adrenal gland, and your right one is right there. So this is your spleen and your liver. So you, here's your right adrenal gland. So your IVC is between your aorta and your IVC. You'll see your adrenal gland. So it's right there and right there and your left one is by the pancreas and it's right there and right there okay so I'm gonna stop there I'll pick up um, next week on the next section heading through the rest of the PowerPoints all right study up